I'm Major General Gary Keefe, the Adjutant General of Massachusetts National Guard. Much has been said about the multi-purpose machine gun range project on Camp Edwards. I'd like to take some time to address some of the truths and misconceptions of the project. We understand the concerns the citizens of Cape Cod have. While I may not be able to alleviate all your concerns, I wanted to start by clarifying a few things with facts. Many of the comments we received expressed concern over the sole source aquifer. The historic water contamination was a result of several decades of artillery fire beginning in the early 20th century, specifically from the Royal Demolition Explosives and sodium perchlorate found in artillery munitions. Artillery fire ended on Camp Edwards in the 90s because of this. An extensive impact area groundwater study program was created to clean up the contaminated water and soil. PFAS is the new and emerging water contamination discovered and is tied to the firefighting foam mandated for use with military and civilian aviation facilities and airports. This contamination source is not found in our small arms firing ranges. Small arms weapon qualification has been conducted on Camp Edwards for more than a century. Studies conducted have concluded this activity over this extended period is not a source of water contamination. The weapons and ammunition which will be used on the MPMG range are already authorized and regularly used on Camp Edwards. In May, the EPA reaffirmed the remediation, planning, and actions taken by the Massachusetts National Guard and the EMC are working and preventing contamination from small arms fire. The EMC will continue to be the overseeing board for environmental concerns on Joint Base Cape Cod. The site identified for the MPMG range already sits on an existing range area. As you can see from this aerial footage, the ranges are not desolate wastelands. They're grassland habitats for some of more than 40 listed species who thrive on the conservation dependent land our environmental team manages. We are not taking any new land. We are repurposing land for training that is essential to ensuring the safety of our service members when they deploy overseas. A comment we hear a great deal is why can't the location be somewhere else in the Commonwealth? Camp Edwards has served as a military training site for over 100 years. Countless service members have trained and fired weapons on base leading up to World War I and World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and more recently, the global war on terror. To this day, our soldiers and airmen continue to train on Camp Edwards for overseas wartime combat operations. Camp Edwards is the only Massachusetts National Guard controlled training area in the state that can support small arms fire. While we have a good relationship with Fort Devens, they're an Army Reserve base and their proposed MPMG cannot support the volume of training required of every Guard and Reserve unit in the Northeast and the Massachusetts National Guard. Having this MPMG will enable the Massachusetts National Guard to train closer to home, allowing your service members to spend more time training. Currently, we rely on ranges in Vermont, New York, and New Jersey to conduct weapons qualification. This costs valuable time and money that is better spent on training our service members here in Massachusetts. Over the life of this MPMG, the Massachusetts National Guard will save millions of dollars and countless hours. As a reserve component, we only train one weekend a month and two weeks over the summer. Our service members lose out on important opportunities to train other skills required to complete their state and federal missions. Supporting the military and caring for the environment are not mutually exclusive actions. In fact, at Joint Base Cape Cod, they are often the same thing. Our award-winning environmental team has worked to ensure that all military training conducted on Camp Edwards meets or exceeds compliance requirements of Chapter 47. As we prepare for the next challenge, it is more important than ever that our soldiers and airmen be provided every opportunity to prepare to conduct their federal mission. Our primary mission is to deploy, fight, and win our nation's wars. As the Adjutant General, it is my duty to ensure that our men and women receive the training necessary to complete this mission and return home safely. Please visit the links below or scan the QR code on your screen to learn more about the MPMG Range Project. Thank you for taking the time to watch and support your Massachusetts National Guard.